Yeah, it's it's the tools, tactics, and strategies, and you know, if you're DIY in it, you know, it's great, do that. Um, that's that's great, good. Mm-hmm. Um, what we're also not is just going to tell you here's here's the nine things you need to do. We're interested in the humanity of it. We're interested in the living of it. We talk about you know this whole legacy conversation comes up, and our industry uses it, and it drives me bananas because um, I think it's lost its way. And for us, a legacy isn't something I want to leave. I want to keep mine and I want to live it. Mm -hmm. I want to live into my legacy right now. Mm -hmm. So I I believe that about a legacy. And I believe that an inheritance in your stuff, we call it the stuff plan. We can talk about that. That's fine. But I'm interested in what does it mean for us to know what our legacy is that isn't this thing that's just money. And then how do we live into that? Mm -hmm. And then I get to play in the money pot to help that come about. So if you were... uh talking to someone who's going into this field right they've got three to five years under their belt they've they've come through the first sort of wave of of uh of vetting yeah. <laughs> you know they, they got some confidence they're going to make it work right but if you were talking to that person and trying to and had an hour with them and then you boil that down to just a minute here <laughs> what would you say what do they need to know about this this process you're describing I would say that financial acumen is not enough and learn as as cliche as it is, learn your voice, know who you are and unapologetically go live into it with everything you got. And that business will flourish. Mm -hmm. I would say narrow, don't broaden. Mm -hmm. And I would say show up and play hard, have fun. What I love about that advice is it, it applies to most endeavors. In in fact, hmm. the idea that you can you do need to learn the skills. Yeah, you gotta you, yeah you gotta do. have the basic competency. But that's yes, the standard do. that gets you in the game. Yep. Right. But uh, we like to say that the the means of production or how value is created in the modern economy is increasingly about showing up yourself. Yeah. You are the product. And if you don't know what the product is, you only know what the wrapping is, it's not going to work. And for sure. in your world, the wrapping is the charts and graphs and math. Mm-hmm. And, and it's, it's great, but you're the product and you've got to figure out who that guy is. Yeah. Yeah. And for me, it's, it's literally that human centered. Mm-hmm. It's through my own journey. It's through, you know, I think that there's a, a number of things in life where we talk about behavior, right? It's, it's a Gandhi quote that I love talking about. It's not exact, but he was asked by reporters, what do you, what are your values? And they said, if you want to, if you, he said, if you, you want to know what I value, put down your cameras and follow me around for a year. Mm-hmm. And it's that premise, right? It's that's wisdom. Right. And I don't think any of the reporters followed him around for a year <laughs> for the record, but yeah. And I lost my train of thought. Yeah, that's good. So John, I actually, I love that Gandhi quote. I've heard you say that before. And it makes me uh, realize that we're sitting in a room with a bunch of cameras around us. Yeah, And I told a story earlier about our work together where at the beginning of the year we'd hear one thing, but then we'd see another. And uh, we got those aligned. Um, and you're picking, you're picking those old dreams up now. And so I'm curious, if we were to shut all these cameras off and just follow you around for a year, this next year, what would we see? I walked right value? into that one, didn't I? <laughs> you did. I did. Well, I can, I can hope. Yeah, I it's predictive is um, all. Yeah. I think you would get to see puffer fish at least come out and wag his tail a little bit and wink and go back. I think you get to see gently John mature. I think you get to see someone who is failing well. Mm. I think you get to see me learn to salsa dance with my beautiful wife. Mm. I think you get to see... Uh, I would hope that you get to see for a deeper reconciliation with my kids and my family. You get to see a business owner. You get to see someone who has a community um, that supports him and a community that he supports. You would see contribution, meaningful contribution into the things I love. Um, and you would see someone very much alive, mm. very much alive. Yeah. That's great. 